If there's two things in this world that I love, it's vintage comic books and Dave Stevens art. And this box has both. Stay tuned to find out what's inside. Hey YouTube comic community, this is Jimmy the Geek Aficionado, and as I said, I love my vintage comics and I love Dave Stevens art. If you're not familiar with Dave Stevens, you're really gonna you're gonna love what you see in here and you're gonna get yourself educated. So let's get to opening this guy and find out what's inside. Uh, these are all from eBay. So we'll add that in there now. And they're all from the same uh, the same seller. Which is why they're in the same box, right? Which is kind of a dumb thing for me to say, but you know. Uh, ooh, and you get it inside a, a flat rate. So I found one thing. It was uh, I was looking for a, a Fantastic Four back issue, and uh, I always like to check, you know, to see what a seller has after I, you know, either purchase something or you know want an auction or something like that, just to see if I can get some more stuff before I go, you know, before I check out, uh, and. He had some some great stuff, uh, so let's show off that book. I mean, this is kind of the big book, so you know what? Let's let's talk. We're still talking about Dave Stevens, so let's talk about some Dave Stevens. Um, this is one I've been trying to track down. Uh, the issues that he did of this series. And this is Alien Worlds number two. Uh, again, Dave Stevens, uh, kind of a, a master of good girl art uh, in the uh, in the eighties. Is just he he does. A phenomenal job. Gone too soon. We, we, we certainly lost him uh, far earlier than we should have. But uh, yeah, you, you just can't deny that he has a, a solid understanding of the female form and he does that work very well. And if you're not also not familiar, uh, Dave Stevens actually created the character The Rocketeer that they did a movie of uh, back in the, I want to say it was the yeah early 90s is when that came out. So this is also another book that I've been uh, trying to track down. Um, cool stuff about this. Okay, so shout out to Bub's Comics for showing this uh, under his queue, right? Uh, when he did, you know, he was going through uh, his, uh, he had his contest for a thousand subscribers, I think. And it was like, you know, find me books that start with Q. And I spotted this in there and I thought it was fantastic. What's great about this is it's not a Dave Stevens cover, but there's Dave Stevens interior art. But it's a Frank Brunner cover of Quack Number 1 with this great Howard the Duck. I want to say it's Howard the Duck or it's, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like how, no, it's duck, the Duckaneer, right? Because this is not Marvel. So it's the Duckaneer, uh, and he's got a, a nice scallywag with him uh, flying the Jelly Roger. This is a cool, it, it's a cool book, right? It, it's just, you know, fun, you know, uh, animal cartoons and stuff like that. You've got Duckula, you've got Cosmo Cat, uh, you got you all Gibbon. There you go, Reggie. There's a new Gibbon for you. And, uh, and the Duckaneer. Uh, but there is some, yeah, there is some some Dave Stevens art inside of here, uh, uh, along with just, like I said, a, a gorgeous Frank Bruner cover. Again, Frank Bruner lost recently. Uh, just hard to hard to keep the good ones around. So, all right. Now we're on to some of the Silver Age, right? The vintage books that I was talking about. Uh, one of the big, uh, well, what do they call it? They're, they're called... Uh, uh, anthology collections that I've been trying to complete is Tales to Astonish, uh, specifically trying to get all the old Ant-Man uh, issues. Uh, this is a great one. This is the, um, let's say it's the fourth appearance of the Wasp. It's issue number 47, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Tales to Astonish. Uh, great condition. I mean, it's, it's a it's like a VG VG plus. It's got a little stain to the top. You know, nothing major, but again, a great book. Helped me finish off that run, and uh, we're we're working our way all the way back to to thirty five and twenty seven. So we'll get there eventually. But this one definitely uh, fills in a nice hole, and uh, another good book to have. But this is where it started with. And this is a great book. I mean, this is like great. Anytime you can get any of the major Marvel characters in the top ten, their you know their their first ten issues, it's a great day. And this one's no different. 
Fantastic Four issue number nine. Great Submariner cover. This is his third appearance in the Silver Age um, where the uh, Fantastic Four are getting kicked out of the Baxter building. Um, I don't know if the Submariner has anything to do with it, but we're going to find out. We certainly will. But uh, this is this was one of the, what are we at, six, seven, eight, nine books that I had left to get for Fantastic Four this year. So now we're down to seven, uh, one through six and 12 are the ones that I'm still missing. Uh, but this one's now off the list along with uh, issue number eight this year. And uh, we're working our way through, working our way back to number one. It's got, uh, I don't know, it's like a little bit of stain up there, something like that, some marker, maybe it was like a marker that got kind of smudged out. I don't know, maybe it's a little soot, but it's actually a pretty sharp presenting book. Um, they've got it marked as a 5.0, they might, might not be wrong. Uh, so this will get uh, obviously clean into press and off to CGC eventually. Uh, but for right now, it's staying with me. And that's all we've got in that unboxing. Thanks, everybody, for checking this out. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell. And we'll catch you next time when I've got more stuff to open up. Thanks.